do you know if I counted up all the times I've drilled holes in vans or made holes in vans you know I probably would have cut out a whole van by now I don't know Welcome to Bill Norbert Campers. Today we're on the roof of the traffic again and what we are going to be doing is we're going to be fitting this air TV aerial and this roof band. It's not the same sort of gland you would get for solar. This is something you'd use in a house. So it's waterproof and what we're going to do is going to mount this up here. And the reason we're using that is because we're going to have the aerial going through it. We're going to have the solar panels wires going through it. And there's options to put other stuff on the roof and feed wires through that box. The TV aerial, although it's got a magnetic base, just to prove that, it's not going to be set on the roof magnetically only. I'm going to be pulling off this rubber protective base and I'm going to sicker flex the magnet to the roof because it doesn't need to come off anyway let's get on with it and let's stop waffling right for us to put this on the roof first of all we've got to take off the lid Right, so in this we'll get some goodies. We get a bus bar. Yeah, I haven't got a clue. Right, the only thing we need to know now is if I've got any of these glands here. Which I don't think I have. That's not a problem. We can still put this on the roof. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to Cut a hole in this big enough to accept his conduit. And for that, we're going to be using a hole saw. So there you go, there's the hole. Hopefully, that fits through. Right, so all we need is enough to come through here. So we can stick and flex it this side and then into the roof. And we can cut it down to size in the roof. So if we cut a piece off here, so if we cut this off about here, that's as long as we need. So we need to drop hot screws. One, two, three, and four holes. Thank you. 
the SD card filled up on the camera. But you can see that's screwed down now, nice and tight, and it's all sicker flexed. I've cut the conduit down. So what I'm gonna do now, give a spray around the area with alcohol spray. Give it a clean up. Because, especially here on this area here, is where I'm gonna sicker flex down the aerial. So that has to be nice and clean. On these magnetic aerials, it's this little protective rubber sheath. And that's because people put them through door, through door channels and that. And this stops it breaking the wire. Because the way we're doing it, we won't need that. Because it's going to go down through our gland in the roof. So we can cut that off without cutting the wire. So effectively, once I've got a gland on the side here, this will feed through the gland and down inside the van. Let's give this a wipe over. That's nice and clean. Let's give it a thin bead of sick flex. Although it probably won't need it, but it all helps. So there, I've just literally just a thin, almost like a slice of sicker flex. And now we position that in the area that we've cleaned. And that's where it's gonna be. And the area will feed around in one of these glands, one of these access holes at the back of the gland. And that, my friends, is how we put our glands on the roof here at Built Not Bought Campers. And again, the ridiculous size aerials that you buy, the only ones like this come in mag mounts. I could fabricate something on the bottom of this, but to be honest with you, because of the strength of the magnet and a slight little bit of sicker flex on it, this won't go anywhere. Right, okay, that's all we've got time for here at Built Not Bought Campers, and especially with today's video. I know it's only a short one, but it's just something I wanted to show you how we get the wires into the roof. Um, in the next video regarding the roof will be the solar panel fit, and we'll feed all the wires down through the box once I've got the glands put on there. Anyway, I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all staying well and I hope you're staying happy. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Give me a like. It helps my channel. It doesn't cost you anything to do it. Please, please, please. And thank you to all those that do subscribe. Um, it helps me greatly, motivates me immensely. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.